Hey, happy Monday to everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got your updates on what's going on in the tropics. We do have some little freaky dicky storms coming through the Caribbean, but they're going to get beat up by some shear and change the direction. So remember, all the links are in the description to help save you time. If you've never been here before, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to sundown Saturday. That's Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am all year along. And I have some big updates on La Palma Volcano as well. We got some newer cracks in multiple places. Plus, we have landslides that's going on. And right now, it is literally the calm before the storm. Please share this on social media. Help get the word out on what the newest information is on this volcano. If you don't use social media, the best way to show support is hit that like button. Thank you so much for all of you helping with this channel. Now, first things first, as you all know, I always uh, promoted and supported Bushcraft Bear to go see him because he has the best information and he lives on the island and talks to local officials of what's going on. As of yesterday, you have people that's been copying his videos and doing all kind of fear mongering according to what he says with the videos. And I have seen somebody on the YouTube that has been doing some things like that and talking bad about him. I tried reaching out to him. I haven't heard from him yet. So when you hear from Bushcraft Bear today, let him know that there is some people talking about him and using his content on YouTube. And to check his Gmail. <laughs> At the same time, to make sure this don't get out of hand with all these people doing these things to this man, because he is a good man. And as far as I know, he's, he's a religious man as well. So his link is in the description of this video. And from now on, his channel will be promoted on my channel so you know where to find him. Now, as of the update for this morning, there has been confirmed that there is two lava flows. Ever since the cone clapped on the smaller one, now there's been these landslides and there's been cracks. You can also see that it still has two lava flows coming out. The main one out the top that's still doing those lava bombs and the one where the cone collapsed and it's just pouring out into the towns below. Now this morning it's calm, but last night it was pretty strong and that seems to be what it's doing. It's a stromboline effect where there's calm periods but very intense periods and the eruption continues at fluctuating intensity with significant changes at the morphology of the new crater. Now during the course of yesterday a significant portion of the western flank of the cone did collapse and likely during a series of rock falls leaving a narrow horseshoe shaped breach. So this collapse is now changing the shape of the volcano and it is pouring out very fast and if you look right here at the new tremor amplitude you can see that we had that big tremor that i showed you the other day and ever since then it's been kind of calm it's been some big strong ones but not as strong as the other day but i expect this to start going back up because the strombolian effect is where it has calm periods and very intense periods also so it's on a calm period and it's about to start erupting again and the earthquake did get very strong that they had last night. They had a 3.8 that was shaking La Palma last night. And it was in the southeast of the municipality of Tazacorte. And a focus three kilometers deep. That was according to the National Geo... Ge and that was according to the National Geographic Institute. Now it has not caused damage and has been felt in several municipalities on the island. The Volcanological Institute of the Canary Islands and Vulcan, you can follow them on Twitter raises its magnitude to a 4.1. And this link in the description as well, NACNAB at Twitter has put out this video showing the, the shock waves that was coming off, and we're talking about some powerful shock waves. I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear this. Plus, they have had landslide yesterday, and I do have a different view for you to see. And now, according to Bushcraft Bear, who has been talking to the local officials there, this is common. I mean, as you see, it's a very steep cliff, and there's not any landslides happening right by the volcano. This is happening on the edge, guys, so it's not really a big fear of worry of anything that's going on. And Bushcraft Bear confirmed that as well. Now, Joint Cyclone Center has posted, you should go follow him, he does a lot of hurricane stuff as well. And he's posted a video about these cracks that's popping up now on the south side of the island. And these are new cracks. This is not cracks from a long time ago. These are all new cracks that's popped up ever since all these tremors been going on. Link in the description as well. Their local clock tower got knocked down yesterday because of all the lava coming in. You can see it leaning against the building. And then eventually it takes off the top of the clock tower and it starts crumbling. 
So not only landslides, shock waves, two fountains of lava now, now it's destroying the clock tower and bigger buildings in their town. So God bless all y'all dealing with this. It's gotta be very distraught. I'm, I'm sorry y'all going through this. Video in the description. Put a crumble in on the building. And here's another view of the landslide, and you can see it. Here it comes right there, right off the side, and then it goes on down. And you can see how it's crumbling off the side. It's not like cracks are leading to a big, massive landslide. This is coming off the edge of the cliffs. So Bushcraft Bear did say that this was normal activity when he talked to the people from the tremors happening, loosening up everything that is somewhat already loose. It's not coming off the cities or anything. And here's a good drone video, link in the description. They did a drone video of what the update is on the volcano ever since the cone collapsed. And you can see it still has that big opening of where it collapsed at. It's still going to continuously just pour out of this. So now there's literally two lava flows. The one from the big uh, volcano and the one from this new vent that opened up. But links in the description, you can go watch this as well. And you can see it, a good view right here. Two lava flows now. You have this one and the one on the right, and they both going down towards the town. So this is definitely going to be going towards the water soon, which means acid rain, glass particles in the air, a lot of other factors you need to think about. Now this is a current live stream that is up, just so I can show you a link in the description. I don't know how long it's going to stay up. It's not even a close shot. But you can see how calm it has gotten uh, this morning for the volcano. And I guarantee you this is going to ramp back up again this afternoon. And that seems to be the pattern that we're going to be going through. Plus, we have our tropical update. Cause I am showing still that we have those two potential possibilities in the Caribbean. Matter of fact, both models, Euro and GFS, is showing that one's going straight while the other one's going to head north. And they both showing that this major hurricane, Sam, will be leaving to the east-northeast. But it has been on a weakening phase, and right now it is down to 130 miles per hour. Matter of fact, it might sustain a little bit weaker, but it might sustain that all the way until it leaves. But so far, disturbance two and three are both at 40% and in 48 hours and 80% within five days. Now the SpaghettiO models, according to National Hurricane Center, con confirms that this storm is leaving. It's always shown that way. There is a low pressure system that's moving to the northeast and it will create a trough and in between that trough and this high pressure spinning this way it's just going to pull it right on around and out and you can see that here on your 500 millibar this is the gfs i'll show you euro as well here's a major hurricane sam here is your high pressure reaching way out here and directing this more westward as the days goes along you're going to get your trough come down in the northeast and then as this swings around and it releases that westward push and the high pressure retreats back to the east northeast it's going to open up this northward path. We've been showing that for quite some minute. And it's going to go in between this high pressure, which is going around this way, and this low pressure, which is going around this way. So it's kind of like throwing a ball in one of those pitcher mounds that shoots the ball out. That's pretty much what it's going to do. It's going to go right in between both of them and just go straight along that path. No worries to anybody. And here's the Euro showing the same thing. It's showing the block with the high pressure, which will confirm a more westward path. But as it opens up and the high pressure retreats back east, northeast, it will open up this northward path. And with this low pressure going counterclockwise, it will be shooting this in between the low pressure and the high pressure and leaving. Now, when we look at our potential velocity anomaly, which shows the updraft in our area, GFS shows that we do have something coming sometime around October 8th, October 9th. And it's a pretty strong anomaly and it's definitely in our region. Matter of fact, if you look at the Euro, you can see right here on the 27th that this is Sam right here. And we do have something coming sometime around October 7th, October 8th. And Euro is showing a stronger anomaly. This is showing stronger than Sam. Plus, we have another one coming, according to the Euro, in late October as well. Now, when you look at your global cyclone tracks, you can see, according to the Euro, that Sam is going up and away. But these next two disturbances, one will be going a little westward towards the Caribbean, then it starts weakening down. One will go a little northern uh, towards the Caribbean, and it will weaken down as well. GFS also agrees with the Euro together that this SAM will be going north and away. And these two disturbances in the MDR 
One will be going westward a little bit to the north than what the euro was showing, but it will be going towards the Caribbean. And the second one will be going north towards the Atlantic, towards northern Caribbean as well. Now you will, when you look for a chance just for a tropical depression, according to the euro, that way you can just follow the weakest kind of movement. You can see that the one of them does go towards the Caribbean and one of them does head north. And the one towards the Caribbean gets weak very fast. Now you're within 10 days and it starts going a little southern in the Caribbean. Very weak system. And if you take a look, when this starts going into the Caribbean, we get a very deep trough right here. Matter of fact, we get an upper level low that breaks off and blocks any of that. This will cause all this shear going around and it will stop any storm that comes within this space. You see it tries for quite some time to strengthen up. And now you're getting some high pressure right here spinning clockwise that's keeping everything blocked as well. You're going to get the cold front coming down, putting a lot of shear on this system. And as you keep going, you'll see it stays blocked stays to the south all this energy stays southern and the shear keeps it away from us so so far we don't have anything to sweat so far the shear and the cold front coming down with another low trough creating more shear we'll push this somewhat towards the southeast towards the western atlantic but it should be headed more east after that whoever tells you a storm can live through that wind shear they don't know what they're talking about that is very violent shear <laughs> matter of fact you can see how far away this actually is. This is all the way until October 9th. Maybe we'll get a system that's coming into our Western Caribbean. And you can see somewhat a few models do show it, but all of them show that it does turn away. One takes it by the southeast of the U.S. The other one goes across Cuba. The other one on E3 goes across Cuba. And so does E12. But still, once again, this is too far away to be accurate. I'm showing this turn will actually happen a little bit sooner. And as you can see in upper level dynamics, that SAM is meeting up with some dry air. But the worst part of the dry air is, is to the west of SAM. What he's going through right now really won't slow it down much. The wind shear is going to bring it down to 120 something miles per hour uh, sustained winds. It still will be a major hurricane all the way until it leaves. So far, that's the update, guys. I will update you if there's any new information that come up today when this volcano starts getting active again. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. Please share this information and let others know what the updates are. Not only that, for the tropics as well. I'm still showing no worries, guys. We've been like that for quite some time. Now, let's start our day off with our God, with our Father. Amen. God bless every single one of you today. Psalm 118. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put conf confidence in princes. All nations compass me about. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compass me about, yes, they compass me about, but in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as a fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. I will praise thee, 
for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders refuse is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is a day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. God is the Lord, which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercy endureth forever. Amen. (laughs) Stay positive. Stay in control of yourself, guys, because positive thoughts does bring positive results. Always been a thing. Always been true. Start your week off great. Whether it's school or work, think positive. (laughs) And have a great day. (laughs) All glory does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob, our Father. Amen. (laughs) Hallelujah, guys. I'll see you in the morning.